Mike Venton from Loblaw is here with us today. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, well, thanks for having me. How should suppliers be approaching Canadian retailers for the fourth quarter in terms of sales and promotions? Well, I think it's going to be an aggressive market in the fourth quarter. It's been a challenging year. Uh, lots of competition in Canada, new entrants into the market. So there's certainly opportunity to do business, but it's going to be very competitive and aggressive. So we're always looking for good opportunities to drive more volume. How's your new position with Loblaw going? Quite well. The good thing about the new position there is I've retained the, the produce involvement, which gives me a bit of a base and then the learning into the new departments that I now manage, but so far so good. Mike, for our viewers who may not know, can you explain some of the recent changes within your company? Sure, what we did is we changed the company into two formats. We now have a conventional format across Canada and we have a discount format across Canada. We've kept the produce as a central buying team, which I continue to be involved with. And we've also, in the discount side of the business, I now manage all fresh food in the discount side. The split of our business is about over 60% discount and the other 40% is conventional, but the market is moving more and more towards discount. What's the outlook for the Canadian economy and specifically for the grocery industry for next year? Probably more toughness. The economy's tough. Uh, people are always looking for, for better value. It's, as I said earlier, it's the, uh, it's the move to more discount. Uh, customers are, are migrating from a conventional grocery store to one that offers better value. So if you want to be in the conventional uh, produce game anyways, you, you have to offer something superior in quality because everybody's driven towards best value. So we, we know that and we just need to adjust our business to make sure we manage that well because that's where the growth is in, in the market. When's your Thanksgiving? Our Thanksgiving is earlier than the U.S. The Thanksgiving day for us is October 10th this year. It's a Monday. Um, so we lead up to October 10th with a pretty significant sales week. Uh, prior to that and leading into that weekend, which is a long weekend in Canada. What goes on with produce sales in Canada while suppliers focus on the traditional sales for Thanksgiving in the U.S.? It's actually an area that we need to be proactive in in Canada because what happens is the demand in the U.S. spikes up, similar to what happens in Canada during our Thanksgiving. So what we try to coach our team is try to focus on more local items in that week. We still have a significant number of hearty goods that are local then, potatoes, carrots, onions, try to mitigate a little bit around the reliance on produce coming from the U.S. Costs go up because of demand. Freight goes up generally because of demand on trucks. So we try to see if we can balance. It's the same comment though earlier around being proactive and making sure we plan these volumes and we don't catch some of our suppliers off guard with demands that they just can't handle when they're so busy servicing their U.S. Uh, customers. Mike, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having me.